So this is the Sound Professionals install video for the USB Mic Model 3. Uh, this will also work for USB Mic Models 2 and 1. Uh, so for people with the named mics, that's a USB Mic 1, a USB Mic Pro, a USB Mic Pro Black. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is, once you got your USB Mic, go ahead and plug it in. I'm going to do that now with mine. If this is your first time plugging it in, you're probably going to see some information here like Windows is installing drivers and then briefly after a driver is installed correctly. Uh, if you see anything else like error or driver is not installed correctly or device not recognized, uh, there's possibly something wrong with your USB input, possibly something wrong with the USB microphone. Either way, uh, give us a call and we'll sort it out. But let's assume it installed correctly. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the settings Windows has for USB microphones um, or for any sound for that matter. So the first thing you're going to do is hit start and go to control panel and here you have hardware and sound. Click that and then go into sound here. I'll open the sound window. You can minimize control panel. So this is a sound window. It basically is how you control or you change settings for how your computer deals with sound. Uh, the first play excuse me, the first tab is playback. Uh, that is how your sound will output or how your computer will output sound. Uh, on the other hand, you have the recording tab, which is how your computer will receive sound or take in sound. Uh, recording will have microphones or audio inputs. Playback will have outputs. So that's what we see here, these devices. These are devices plugged into the computer that have the ability to output sound. So this first one here you're going to see is C-Media USB Headphone Set or C-Media USB Device. That is your USB microphone. That is how it sees the USB microphone you bought from us. So remember that name, C-Media. Uh, likewise, you're going to see that here, Microphone, C-Media USB Headphone Set or USB Device. That is your USB microphone. So. Let's deal with the recording side first because we want that to be the same for everyone. So that's the microphone. Uh, you absolutely want this selected as your recording device. You want to use the USB mic to record, obviously, you, you know, that's what you got it for. So as you can see here, it's not selected as my default device. That's what this green check signifies. So in order to switch that green check or make the USB mic my default recording device, you highlight it once by clicking on it once. That highlight, highlights it like that and you hit set default here. You see that green check move. Now Windows is going to use the USB microphone, this C media device, as its default recording device. So once you have that green check on there, you can do one of two things. You can double click and that'll bring up the microphone properties or you can hit properties down here. They both bring you to the same menu. Uh, this is the microphone properties for the USB microphone. Uh, we're going to go to levels tab here. Uh, this is your microphone level adjustment. So if your microphone level is anything other than 100, uh, you want to push it all the way to 100. And if this button shows a red circle like that, you want to click it and make that go away. That means it's not muted. So microphone level 100 and no little red circle. Go to the custom tab, make sure AGC is checked. Once you do those two things, you can go ahead and hit OK. And now the microphone settings are correct. So you're going to go to playback now. This is where you have a choice. Uh, you can either use the you can use the USB mic to output sound. Uh, it does have that ability. Uh, you can use uh, and that that out that option is completely separate from the U headphone monitoring uh, option you have with those this USB mic. That's just that's outputting sound from your computer. Anything you record or music or anything like that, you can use the USB mic for that. Generally, though. Uh, we have people who want to use their internal sound card. That means like the speakers on your laptop or the headphone input. Uh, for that, it would be your internal sound card. Uh, for me, that's Realtek Digital Output, uh, not the optical. It's just going to be this first one here. Uh, for you, it might be something like IDT or uh, something else, HP Audio, something like that. For me, it'd be Realtek. So to change from whatever you're using, I'm actually using this device right now, which is what I want to keep. But if you want to use a different, if you, if you want to use your internal sound card, it's not selected. You, you again highlight it and click set default. I'm going to leave mine here because that's what I want. And likewise, excuse me, likewise, if you want to switch to the USB mic, you can highlight that and hit set default. We don't want to use that. More importantly, what you want to change in here is the headphone monitoring. Uh, that's where you can he listen real time to what the microphone is picking up while it's recording or in use at all. Uh, so to change that, the USB mic doesn't have to be the default device. You can just go in here 
and double click this option or again you can just highlight and hit properties and then in here you'll have levels so speaker volume is the listening volume for the when the USB mic is being used as a default playback device you don't have to worry about that if you're not using it like that more importantly you have the microphone level here that is the real-time monitoring level so this is a listening volume so it's going to change depending on what you need I'm going to put it up around you know 75 or so 76 and this is probably going to be muted when you see it if it is you want to unmute it and that will turn on uh, it will unmute the real-time monitoring a word of caution if you have external speakers plugged into the USB mic to monitor you're going to have uh, feedback so you want to make sure to always use headphones to monitor as opposed to speakers so once you have that set hit OK and now our settings are done for the USB mic so you can go ahead and hit OK here and the last thing is to do a test recording so you're going to go to start menu again all programs and then a folder here called accessories and sound recorder here. It's going to bring up this little window. Uh, you're going to see this level barely moving. Don't worry, it's a bad representat representation of what we're recording. Uh, you just want to go ahead and hit start recording. Speak normally for five to ten seconds, uh, just long enough to get an idea if the microphone's working or not. Uh, so that should be fine. Hit stop recording. I'll bring up the save as page. You can name it as anything. You can name it test or USB mic test, what have you. Um, I like to save to my desktop so that it'll pop up right here and be convenient for me. You can save it in your documents or music, whatever. Uh, and Windows Media Audio File is fine. So hit save, and there it is, popped up right for me. You can close that. And to run this, you can double click it, which will probably open in Windows Media Player. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but that. Uh, I have sound, I can hear my voice, and it's actually picking up my computer more than anything, but uh, that's just because I have plugged into a big tower. But yeah, my microphone's working correctly, so it's set up and ready to go. So this was an install video for the USB Mic Model 3, uh, also the USB Mic Model 2 and 1 for Windows 7. I'm Joe with the Sound Professionals. Thanks for watching.